Should we bring on our, save our successful videos and bring on our Yeah, guests? I think that's probably a good use of our time. Do you want to put your, you can put your regular glasses back okay. on. I think that'd be okay. I don't want to. Yeah, okay. Everything's so much more clear now. Put those over here. So uh, we wanted to put a little uh, bookend on the, uh, the week. We've had this deal floating out there for a few days, and we want to invite. I know a lot of you have been ready for this dramatic moment. Well, you know what? Yeah, okay. Let's get Anka on here first. Um, and Drew at the same time. These are our two local swappers. They've been deadlocked in a negotiation between a foosball table and a Jack Daniels whiskey decanter. We'd like to welcome you guys on the show. We're gonna take a knee. Actually, I wanna wear my glasses for this. Thank you. That'd be good. So do you have some thoughts? I'll just ask you first, Anka, going into this deal, and you're gonna have to speak into the mic. Hello. Do you have any thoughts as, about which way you're leaning on this deal now, or? definitely have thoughts about okay about the deal well before you um before you make a final decision we want to roll another little video we made it's a recap of uh drew's initial estimation of the decanter's worth and then we consulted a, an antique expert and uh, i think it just sort of speaks for itself let's just roll this so i went online to see how much this uh, went for, and on Etsy it goes for over a hundred dollars an empty bottle. I did some research on that bottle, and I and I'm honestly thirty five, forty five, fifty five dollars. That's what they sell for. So we don't have to let this damage our friendship with Drew. Just sort of uh, yeah, set him straight, maybe. No, I'd just be careful doing business with him in the future. That, that's all. Okay. Okay. No, I'd just be careful doing business with him. No, I'd just be careful doing business with him. No, I'd just be careful doing business. With him. No, I'd just be careful doing business with him. That's all. So, sort of an objective. <laughs> Be careful doing business with him in the future. Uh, we don't like to skew a swap in either way, but we felt like maybe there was just more to the story that should be put out there. And um, so, uh, what are you thinking? The well, final faithful decision. Well, I just want to say how much... Uh, effort this deal has um, or this swap, potential swap has been I learned Spanish or tried to um, and there are many issues that I have with the deal the first one being the lack of whiskey the second being uh, the appraiser's word that was very, or advice that was uh, I'm going to take to heart. Um, and so because of that, Drew, I, I have to say no, no deal. <gasps> no deal, Drew. No deal. Should have checked the wording of our graphic. For I mean, no swap. <laughs> no swap, Drew. No swap, Drew. Now, Drew, we want to give you equal time to... Uh, respond and just maybe clear the air for America and for everyone else and to Anka and to, and to the crew that you let down in the room here. It's good to have you on the show, Drew. Take your time. It's, it's good to be here. Um, I was equally surprised by um, the appraiser's value. I apologize to everybody for uh, misrepresenting a price that was given to me by looking something up on the internet. Um, and based off of this knowledge, I would agree, uh, perhaps a swap is not yet in place. Um, I do have other items in my basement that I could use to sweeten the deal. Um, other 60-year-old items that came in the basement, um, rock collection, um, there's also a 
record album down there of church music that still plays. Um, other glass bottles as well. Okay, so sounds like you're trying to reverse sounds like the you're swap trying to counter offer, make a new deal, and uh, we want to put it right. out there to you guys, our viewers, our Facebook group followers. Should Anka go down into Drew's basement and accept a counteroffer for more dusty glass things? 60 years old. And as you discuss this on hashtag on social media, we want you to hashtag it, should Anka go in Drew's basement. Can I, can I put my two cents in? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I need your help, guys, because I am extremely conflicted. On one hand, I am curious about potential other swaps that could happen um, and the items that are in said basement. Um, however, the analyst did tell me to be wary of doing business with Drew. And um, yeah, so I'm just putting that out there. I feel very conflicted and I need your help. Thank you. I think our viewers will have to stay tuned to find the stunning co conclusion should Anka go into Drew's basement. It's a swap for the ages, the foosball for Drew's basement collection, as we're going to be calling it now. And uh, there's going to be a lot of opinions out there. So we invite you, get online, talk it over, hashtag it, should, should Anka, Anka go into Drew's, Drew's basement. basement. And uh, I think probably be trending by the end of the day and we'll have some sort of algorithm take all the different results and see which way you guys are leaning um, it's really been our pleasure spending time with you guys right it's been a great thank you a great conversation was had here and we look forward to finding out the decision if we will be venturing into your basement drew a camera crew will be accompanying Anka if she decides to go oh. and uh it will be something to look forward to. We should do it at night. Wear Everyone. night vision goggles, Drew, in your basement. Everyone's wearing night vision goggles. Make it very safe that way. See everybody. No surprises. Zach will be wearing the gla those glasses. And I think there's a lot to say for both sides of this argument. Yeah. I just want to point out the basement could be haunted. That's another issue. That we've established. Yeah, we've that. we've been talking about. Well, I appreciate that there will be other crew members of the show with me. Anka, if you decide to go... worried about getting haunted. If it, you do decide to go into the basement, we'll have to check we the, will all get haunted. And we do I'm have to, sure. before we sort of promise things, we'll have to double check the budget because it may have to be just you with a GoPro and night vision goggles on in Drew's basement alone. So... Well, I think that's up to the viewers to, to debate. Yeah. What's your best case scenario, your ideal situation? Let us know. Uh, next week, I think we're probably going to devote a few hours to the subject of Drew's basement and um, if Anka should go down there. So weigh in, let us know. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, and until then, I think this is our first four-way handshake. Signing off. Four-way, it's a deal. Stick around for the uh, crosswords at 2 p.m., Watch Crossword. It's a great show. It's been a pleasure having you. A pleasure, and it's a deal. It's a deal. Deal. Thank you.